Hey church, we're really excited to uh, show you one of the new things that we have coming on board. I'd love to be able to take credit for this, but actually Kelly and Katie and Mary have done a ton of work on the backside of the, all of our systems here at the church. And we wanna show you our new app for Family in Christ. Now, you probably have 30,000 other apps on your phone, so if you need to delete a couple of other ones, I would suggest you do that and go ahead and install this. So let me show you how. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your app store or your play store. So for me, it's the play store. And then you're gonna go to your search field and you're gonna type in church center. So if you need to, at any time, you can pause this video catch up with us and then keep going, feel free to do so. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the Church Center app and you're gonna look for this guy right here. Once you see this little icon here for Church Center app, you're gonna install or um, whatever it says here, you're gonna to wanna to install it or download it. And then what you're gonna do is it's gonna put it onto your phone. So you're gonna go through all your different apps and you're gonna look for on my phone right here is the Church Center app. So you're gonna click on that, and then there's gonna be a couple screens that you're gonna see that I'm not going to because I've already logged in. So you're gonna tap on this, and then it's gonna pull up um, a bunch of different churches. This is kind of a platform that's industry-wide. It's, it's, it's kind of the go-to application for church apps. So you're gonna do a search for Family in Christ. If you don't see it already up there, you'll click Family in Christ. And then the next thing you'll do is you'll log into um, Planning Center. So it'll walk you through the steps to be able to log into and have an account with us. Then every other time that you are looking to do this, you'll simply come to Church Center. So you'll never see like an FIC logo on your phone. You'll always see this Church Center app. But when you click on that, then it'll pull you into our application. We think the app is um, actually really helpful for those of us who call family in Christ our home. What we're looking to do is use our website more as a platform to reach people who are not yet part of family in Christ, people who are church shopping or are still looking for a church home. So that website will be a little bit more tailored for people outside and the app is gonna be the primary way for us to communicate with each other and with groups inside. So let me show you real quick some of the different things that we have here in the church. On the home screen right now, and this will change from time to time, you can submit a prayer request. You can click on here to watch some of the past sermons. But down at the bottom, you'll see there's a home. There's the different events that are happening at the church. We've got the different groups you can give. And then there's another more button. If you go to more, you can check in. So if there's a, like, let's say that you're heading into church and you want to check your kids into the children's ministry, it's actually super easy. You can click on this and check your kids in right from there. Um, so this one right here, if you click on the events, it'll show you a bunch of the different events that we have going on at the church, super cool. If you go to groups, it'll show you, um, this top part is the groups that you are a part of. So right now you're looking at my app. I'm a part of these different groups. Um, you may not see anything in here. And if you don't see anything in here, it just means that you're not really well connected yet. And we'd love to help you get more connected here at Family Christ. So the next thing you'd wanna do is look at this exploring life groups section or Lyft Ministries or one of the others. But you can see if you clicked on one of these, you can find some different life groups that are happening at the church. There's also a way that you can give online. So if you select this, it'll pull you to the program that'll allow you to be able to make donations uh, and your tithe to the church, which is super cool. You click the back button, and then again, it'll take you to the more if you wanna look at those. One last thing I wanna show you real quick. If you look at up in this upper right-hand corner, it's your profile. So if you select that little button up there, it pulls up your profile, shows you who's connected to you and your family, uh, shows you some of your registration, some of the groups that you're in, now, if you tap on yourself there, it'll allow you to edit your profile. So if you look and you see that there's no photo here for you, you can click on update photo and you can take a little selfie with your phone and then you can automatically update that, which is really cool. It'll also allow you to check to see what other information that the church has, which information that you want the church to have or information that might not be correct that you wanna update then you would just hit the update button and then this would be ready to go. So there's a quick tutorial for our app. 
We'd love to help you to stay more connected. Again, feel free to watch this video again if you got stuck someplace. And if you need more help, we'd love to help you out here at the church. So feel free to call the office and we'll have someone help you out.